What's up PUBG Mobile fans, this is Browie back again with another video and we have landed short of my favorite Hacienda mansion, but we're getting right up to there. I'm going to walk into this building just in case somebody else maybe tries to grab a car or was thinking the same thing as me and trying to jump about 1500 meters short or to this. 1500 meter mark and then land it a little bit short just in case although it was kind of nice that I landed on a car 98 right off the bat that car 98 will come in handy only once I believe in this game yeah this game was pretty slow although it is a new season and some guys have been playing a lot more than I have and have been ranking up a lot faster so I have not been ranking up as fast as other people here comes a bot bring me some loot thank you Isaac 93 I think it's interesting about the names of bots how they uh, how they come up with them. I mean, Isaac93 just sounds like a, a regular name that you would find that Isaac would have, right? Well, he had some decent loot, but nothing that I'm going to use. See, two people have drowned. I'm guessing they were on the plane and landed. Went offline. Can another bot bring me some loot? Oh, excuse me. There we go. Alright, let's skip ahead. I loot this whole place up. I'm I'm pretty much geared out, and we move toward Picado. Well, actually down to the road, and I see a flare, so I th so I'm gonna decide to just take the truck and head to Picado because I assume that's probably where they shot the flare off. But as I get in my vehicle, somebody starts shooting at me, so I can tell it's over to the east and I'm sure it's at those concrete buildings sure enough there he is on top slow down just missed him oh, at that time I thought he was running to the right so he's weaving back and forth gotta catch him at the right time there we go he walked into my, my bullet alright so he drops down since he dropped down to heal I decide to take off and go over to that dip right by the road Load up my car 98 again, took three shots, just in case I want to shoot another couple more when I get closer. And we're going to head down to the road. And there he goes, he's shooting at somebody else again. I don't know if it was me or not, but if it was at me, he didn't even come close. Alright, so I hang out at this road for a little bit, and just as you can see at the top right, the circle popped. So, right when the circle pops, we are now out of the circle. I've watched him move back and forth about twice or so between the buildings, so I know he doesn't have a vehicle, he's just waiting on the circle. Now that it's moved, he's going to have to move, I'm going to have to move, so I'm just waiting to see if he starts running, and sure enough he does. Headshot. That was pretty good by him, moving back and forth. Oh yeah, there was a bot that came by here, so I'm going to loot him up. Loot another bot. And I've got four kills, and only one is an actual person because this game was, like I said, extremely slow, so I cut a lot of it out. It is nice that these bots come over and give me some loot, though, because I came in and watched this guy run around for a little bit. I didn't want to peek up and shoot when he was running between buildings because then I would have just got off one or two hit markers, maybe, and and he would have been able to um, squeeze away. So I was just waiting to make sure that he had to get to circle before I did. And by him running away, that tells me that he knew I wasn't there. So that was probably a good spot to hang out in. All right, well, the only really thing that I'm missing is a tax stock. So I first have to get out of the red zone here. And what I decide to do is I'm, I'm going to check the map, and I notice that the top of the mountain is still in, but 
it's kind of a small section. So I stay down by these buildings right here. Well, not in this group. I get in the circle. But I stay down by these buildings to wait for the next circle. Because that's still a really big circle for 10 total guys. So I decide to move up to the next group of buildings and I loot them up. And I grab a tax stock. And I'm waiting right now for the next circle to, to switch. I'm going to take my boost right now so that as I'm moving, in case somebody shoots at me, I can heal up while I'm dodging and weaving. And sure enough, I got lucky with the circle, and it is on top of that mountain. So I decided to skip the vehicle. Just don't want, I don't want to park the vehicle where you get on top of the mountain so that uh, if somebody else decides to go that route then they already have an inclination that somebody is is already up there. So this is a little bit of a risky play. Running up this mountain when someone could be up there already waiting to shoot right down at me. But um, as you can see, the kill feed is going off. I can't hear anybody. I don't hear any shots or anything. My guess is a lot of the that action is going around near Picado. And now there's only five guys left. This game was quite slow. Oh, the drop's going to land up up by me. I don't think it's on the mountain. But I'll probably be able to, to see it when I get up there, if I can get up there. Another worrisome thing is the short end of the zone is right next to this spot, so this would be a really highly likely place that somebody with some knowledge of the game and circle usage would want to come to. You, you always want to try and be at the short end of the blue zone so you don't have to run far and so that nobody is behind you. So again, getting on this is a little bit of a risk because you have to expose yourself a little bit, but um, nobody was shooting at me, so... Oh, there's some shots. Oh, there's plenty of room over there. More to the right. Hmm. I'll leave him alone. I want to get to the top part. Make sure that I'm the only one here. All right, we're going to skip ahead because, again, I was on top of this mountain. There was not much action. People were coming in, dying left and right. I didn't really see anybody. I heard some shots at the buildings, so I know somebody's in the building. And there's only two guys left, so wait for this next circle. All right. So that's all right. It's right next to me. I'm still on top of the, the rocks. And there's someone in the building for sure. I'm really close, so I don't have to... Just want to make sure. Only about three meters left. I can just scoot forward, no problem. I just want to make sure that I was still in when I was on top. Got to make sure fully boosted for the end game. Oh, there's somebody moving underneath me. You're going to see these shots. These shots, I don't know. These shots are bad. He was fully level three out for sure. And then I slip my finger off. Oh, here comes the other guy. All right, so there's the guy from the, from the building. And this guy's to the right, so I pretty much have the advantage. As long as I don't make a dumb mistake or they throw an amazing nade. At this point, I'm thinking I should have the chicken dinner. Now, that nade ended up being short, so he's still in that little nook. So I decided to cook grenade a little bit longer. Right about there. Nice. Nice throwable kill. And now I just have to worry about this guy below me. And he's moving. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what kind of shots those were. Very odd. Well, either way, slow game. Got a sweet nade kill. Thanks for watching, guys. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more PUBG Mobile action.
Thanks for watching.